सरलेट टू सरलेट कम्युनिकेशन सर्वलेट टू सर्वलेट कम्युनिकेशन क्रिएट अ डायनेमिक वेब प्रोजेक्ट या हियर आई विल क्रिएट वन फॉर्म वैलिडेशन फर्स्ट आई विल अप्लाई इनटू वन वैलिडेशन सर्वलेट एंड एक्चुअल रजिस्ट्रेशन आई विल डू इनटू वन मोर सर्वलेट ओके क्रिएट वन इनपुट पेज हियर न्यू हेस्टीएमएल फाइल इंडेक्स डॉट हेस्टीएमएल and create form here html head title sarlet to sarlet communication okay body and in this body form form action dot slash registration and this form input parameters keep three parameters here name email address for name input type text parameter name name for email email for address input type text area number of rows and number of columns and parameter name address finally one submit button input type submit value register okay now write one validation sarlet here go to src write controllers controller write a controller class here new servlet validation servlet just i will apply validation here if validation success then i'll forward it to next servlet okay next url pattern slash registration and then next finish okay and which method we should override here do get so override do get method here in this do get method read your inputs string name equal to request dot get parameter of name read name email address okay then do validation here if name dot equals to empty string send a error message if email dot equals empty string send error message if address dot equals empty string send one error message add error message here to whom we need to add error messages create one out object print writer object print writer out equal to response dot get writer now using that out object write your output here not server side that is client side framework okay on browser you need to write that validations these are server side validations okay we are applying this validations on server in case browser validation fails then it will come to server validation okay yeah or else here you can apply or finally here validation error out dot println name is required email is required address is required and i'll create one boolean flag here boolean b equal to false in case if name equals to empty string maintain the same if email equal to empty string maintain the same if address equal to empty string maintain boolean equal to false else if it is not all these 
in case of else make that boolean equal to true now check condition here if boolean value if it is equal to equal to true just leave it okay validation success that means validation success if it is validation success i need to communicate with next servlet so what you should do here if it is else it need to send output okay so you can keep that output here anyways you can put here yeah you can communicate with next servlet from here we need to talk from here we need to call next servlet <coughs> so what is our next servlet get servlet context dot there is one method get servlet method what we should pass here here our servlet name we should pass the next servlet name create one servlet register servlet or registration servlet registration servlet when you call using this name next it need to call okay finally finish okay here also just override do get now just from here from this validation servlet i want to call this registration servlet <coughs> so pass your servlet name here registered servlet then finally it need to return us registration registration servlet object so once after getting that servlet type cast it into registration servlet once after getting that object from here servlet dot you can call your do get method okay we are getting next servlet object huh? forward we have to use in case of request dispatcher two approaches we discussed right one is by using get servlet method one is by using request to dispatcher method okay so from here now it need to forward your request to registration servlet now here what you should do read data again and keep the data into database read fields data here then write database code class dot for name dryer class rkill dot jdbc dot rkill driver then connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection jdbc colon rkill colon thin colon at the rate localhost 1521 colon xc then username password system manager okay once after getting connection store this data into database connection dot prepare statement insert into something student values name email address three inputs we have to store right finally it will return what prepared statement now use this prepared statement dot set string first one name next email and next address change this indexes that's it finally call prepared statement dot execute update finally here also send output print to writer out equal to response dot get writer now out dot print ln in case if i not equal to 0 out dot print ln write here success else out dot print ln of fail
okay so when you call this first surlet validation surlet this validation surlet need to call next surlet it need to call registration surlet okay first if you call validation surlet after doing validation so if validation success then it need to forward request to next surlet okay so just i'll write simple sop statements forward to next and here next surlet execution deploy and test this application now okay you required one more jar file while doing database operations it requires ojdbc 14 right so add that ojdbc 14 to runtime keep it into libraries now run this web.xml file automatically it will generates look into this web.xml file validations are lit using url pattern registration and one more surlet registration surlet using next url pattern what is controller hmm? control. package name it's your package name controller dot registration you package huh? if you not package A compulsory packages you should use okay without having packages also you can write but that is not actual right approach okay without package if you have then directly you can configure your surlet okay but you must need to write surlet yeah it's your wish same java conventions you need to follow okay now load your form here name is required email is required address is required okay if i pass name email is required address is required abc at gmail dot com address is required so we are getting one null pointer exception here where we are getting this forwarding to next this statement execution success in validation surlet itself okay here it is not able to returning this registration surlet okay here actually instead of using this use only your url pattern here okay our url pattern is what next use only url pattern i think using url pattern it will work once again restart this once again restart this it is not returning actually the yeah, same thing we are getting again yeah write only surlet name registration surlet actually these approaches are not recommended 
whenever you want to communicate with another satellite, we should use a request dispatcher mechanism only. I think this approach they deprecated. Still we are getting. So here it is not allowing us to get the next satellite. Okay, this approach is not working. So then next approach is what? Request dot get request dispatch. Here pass your URL pattern slash next. Now it will return us request request dispatcher object. Now using this request dispatcher, we can call forward method. Pass your request and response. Try this. Registration success. Okay, see this debug statement for to the next satellite and here next satellite execution. Both are executing here, right? So, this request dispatcher mechanism is recommended and you can check data here. Run. We have data into student table, right? Select the star from student okay just truncate and test it again once again truncate table student okay now we don't have any data here just submit data when you pass any invalid field server side validations it will execute okay then finally when you fall pass valid data registration is success so registration successfully registered here so how many servlets we are using for this application two servlets one is for validation and one is for okay for doing registration so in case if you want to communicate from one servlet to another servlet using this request dispatcher we can make that communication and here what we should pass url pattern here your registration servlet url pattern so here what i thought for registration servlet there is no pattern right you can use servlet mapping servlet name registration servlet rs url pattern something called next finally servlet mapping so here if you pass this next this request dispatcher here if you pass next so using this next it will fetch servlet information it will get your registration servlet class object internally it will get okay whenever you call forward it will call which method your registration servlet do get method it will call in case currently if you are in do post it will call do post method okay this is one way and here you can include your other servlet output also you can include your other servlet output also here by using include mechanism. Using request dispatcher forward, you can forward request. Using request dispatcher include, you can include other controller output also here. Okay.